morning guys that sun is crazy let me turn this around and show you it's beautiful but man is it bright so I'm actually going to feed puppies I got some puppy food and milk I like to give them milk every couple of days, if not every day. If I can get it away from the pigs, it is. So it is actually Sunday. I don't normally vlog on Sunday, but I thought I would vlog today because the, we completed the contest, which you won't see this video immediately after the contest. Um, but I really wanted to talk about what it was for me to have to do this. Um, it was a great experience. I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed it. And the fact that I gained a hundred subscribers, well, two away from a hundred subscribers from the Harvest Moon giveaway, 21. It's pretty wild. I gotta rinse the bucket out. It's a rule. If you mix dry feed with something wet, you better at least rinse the bucket out because feed sits in there like concrete and uh, you will ruin a bucket and I'll throw you that way. Now we did do something pretty cool. If you follow us on, follow me, follow me, let's be honest, I'm the only one that posts. <laughs> if you follow me on TikTok, um, it's Kristen dot, or Kristen at Lazy C. I'll, uh, I'll put it right here. I posted a video and I thought it was hilarious because I looked out the window or and I could see the cows in the yard and so I opened the door but actually yesterday we put up an electric fence I didn't film it it was so windy y'all would have never been able to hear me talk anyway so I put up we put up electric fence across the front of the yard which our yard's about an acre and a half so I figure we cut out about a quarter of an acre so they couldn't get to the hay really and uh, so they got about an acre and a quarter of Bermuda grass to eat <laughs> and uh, they really enjoyed it so we'll probably do that again today for a little while let them eat some more good morning bubbies now I've been trying to breed rabbits Matt even came out and helped me the other night and we just can't figure it out he does not fall off the girls will flatten out. Same thing with Bunny. But I think Bunny's problem is his girlfriends are a little too young still. Maybe. I don't know. Hello, Miss Rita. How are you? Come here, sweet girl. They're all really friendly. Rita likes to be picked up the least out of all of them. She will kick and throw fit. In fact... That scratch on my finger there, that's from her, just from picking her up. And after I can hear already again from uh, the chickens, they like to turn, for some reason they like to dig in the rocks in here and get the rabbit poop, I guess, but whatever, dude. I'm gonna go get Maudie, I'm gonna get her milked. Um, hopefully get this set up. I haven't showed a lot of videos of milking Maudie since we put this cage in here because I did have her milk stand right here which worked out pretty great because I could set this on top of the cages on the other side but now it's you know right in the middle so I think I'm gonna see if I can put it on a bucket at the front there I'll just watch her eat 
I don't know. Or I can put it behind her. Who knows? She does get a little spooky about things in the doorway, though. So, we'll just have to see. She was still freaked out about the camera, but that's okay. I gotta feed some chickens, and uh, then I gotta get around for church. But, I'll let y'all come with us to feed the chickens. Oh man, uh, it's kind of, Sundays are family time for me. And I currently don't have Wyatt at home. He stayed the night with a friend that's gonna probably be, his family's gonna come to church with us, I think. So that's good. And, uh, he, uh, I don't know. I guess I'm missing a child, so I thought I would share with you guys my day, or my morning. Now that I have all of my, oops, drop some feet. Now that all of my lane type chickens can be turned loose together, it's pretty nice because I don't have to really worry about them. Um, the roosters, the only rooster they bicker with is uh, Corky. He's the little red and black fanny rooster. We need to get Corky assimilated to fannies, though. I would like to be able to raise um, EEs or which would be Easter Eggers or Ericanas out of my girls over here. So I really need to need to get Corky out of there because he does not fit the game plan at all. this little pair here. I haven't showed them, but Wyatt has three uh, young Cochin Bantams, and they're in a pen on the other side of the driveway where, like by the, I guess my baby pen, the one where I take my babies when they first get to come outside for good. They are either in that or in this one chicken tractor, the smaller one, but I did not put them in there because I had meat birds in it. Now I don't have meat birds, so now it takes no time to feed chickens rather than uh, somebody's saying the, it's Corky and he's singing quite a song right now. But now I don't have any meat birds, so my feeding time is cut down like way down. I can vlog in the morning. I've got a few errands to run tomorrow, but I think I'm gonna try and do a live tomorrow afternoon, say like one or two o'clock, which, you'll see this video after that 
So if I didn't do it, say, dang it, Kristen, you're supposed to do a live. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I did mow the lawn, sort of, with cows. Not, not your typical lawn mowing experience. I did milk the goat this morning, like I do every morning. Fed everything that is supposed to be fed, and I go house, go in the house, drain this milk, start getting around for church. But first, you gotta watch uh, Tim at Ridge Life. He comes on at nine. So, thank you guys for watching and supporting our channel. Thank you to all of my new guys who are here now. I sure appreciate you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. God bless.